realize not all of you have had hands-on experience. None of us have ever faced a situation quite like this one. I know many of you have family and loved ones still in the city. Your courage will never be more needed than it is today. Japan when Godzilla shows up, or else who would this movie follow? Yes, I think it's pretty insulting and a surprisingly poor business decision to only have one Japanese storyline in this film, Ken Watanabe, uh, considering A, how far we've come as a society today, uh, supposedly, I'm assuming. Uh, also, that Asia has such a strong box office these days, uh, it's dominating, particularly with movies like this, and at, uh, adding considerably to their global box office halls. Uh, and also the source material. In the film, the original film, everybody was Japanese, and now they're just reduced to largely extras. And I think that's why this occurred to me so much with this uh, spot, this uh, one-minute spot. I think it's for TV, I'm not sure, but it's, it's, you know, it's under a trailer, but it's longer than a TV spot. But anyway, they really seem to focus on the civilian aspects of Godzilla's wrath and how it affects them. And so it really drives home that you're following a white person running through a sea of Japanese people. And I, th oh, I think there were like some tourists they found. It was really, you know, they seem to be going out of their way to search out the white people in the crowd. It's like a, a Hollywood Where's Waldo, a game that they should not still be playing. Uh, now, of course, Ken Watanabe is there. Uh, and I think he'll do a great job. I'm a big Ken uh, Watanabe fan. But I think I would have liked to have seen also a civilian Japanese storyline. Uh, and, you know, usually I think Hollywood's uh, stereotypical thinking would be like, fine, we'll make Aaron Taylor Johnson's girlfriend Japanese. But I think that's usually what they do. As I said, that's the stereotypical uh, thought process. And also, Asian roles in Hollywood tend to go to women. Uh, and I think it would be great to have an Asian male character and just a regular guy, not a martial arts expert and not some stoic scientist or businessman like Ken Watanabe is playing. Uh, and Elizabeth Olsen, I think her character, and I like the idea of an American couple abroad. You know, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson is a soldier and his wife is working in a hospital in, um, in I believe, I'm not sure, I guess it's Tokyo, but it's, it seems like it's taking place in multiple cities. Uh, but I think that, I like that story angle. So I don't see why there couldn't be a male co-worker that Elizabeth Olsen works with that she has to go on the run with. So I'm just, I, I think it's a mistake not to, to have that kind of storyline, which I think would give it a more global feel and I think more authentic to the setting. Because I want to see what's happening to the people who actually live there. I mean, that's interesting to me. And I like seeing how different, you know, different cultures and, uh, you know, all those different fun elements. I think that makes for a good movie. Also, you know, this wouldn't fit that requirement of like a regular guy. Maybe it would because you could focus on a foot soldier, but I don't understand where the heck is Japan's army in all this. They're like, okay, America, come clean this up. And I'm like, wouldn't all the armies of the world be working together? I just think it's a missed opportunity for the film. But that said, I do like this spot more than the last one. It, uh, you know, not I, I skipped the international trailer because I didn't think there was a lot more stuff they were showing. But as you might recall, I loved the first, like, semi-teaser trailer. I thought that was brilliant. Uh, like, just really epic quality. And then when they got into that first big trailer with uh, Brian Cranston's voiceover, I was, not, I was not liking it. And I'm glad they've moved away from that and gone back to what I think is this movie's uh, strong point, besides Godzilla. And that's uh, the civilian angle, how, how people have to deal with Godzilla, really putting you in that scenario. What would you do if Godzilla lay waste to your city? I think that's much more interesting than the scientific story of like, where is Godzilla from? Uh, can we defeat him? You know, I think, I don't, I mean, I'm sure some people will enjoy that, and I, maybe it's important to have both, but what interests me as a moviegoer is uh, the, the theme park aspects to it, the ride. Uh, what what would I do in putting me in the, that space? So that's why I liked Elizabeth Olsen uh, here and her shots in the subway when she was trying to run. I assume it's the subway. But I also have to say, though, two things. First off, that reminded me a lot of Charlie Day's scenes in uh, Pacific Rim, and I still find it very surprising 
the, the same studio, uh, production company, Legendary Pictures, would essentially make the exact same movie one year later again. Uh, maybe they're like, well, we learned our lesson. I mean, it, this is a much more serious film, obviously, and Pacific Rim did have its fan base, but overall disappointed at the box office. Remember, a uh, studio only gets half of the box office haul, so Pacific Rim, even with uh, a big boost from China, still was not a, a box office a financial winner for uh, Warner Brothers. But this, I I'm hoping this does a little bit better. Uh, maybe people will take it more seriously. I think people had a hard time relating to those uh, uh, Jaegers and the, the drivers. I think making this more realistic, and as I said, people can relate to it as if what would happen to me if Godzilla showed up. I think that's a better angle. Uh, but still, it it's very similar, and it's funny just to see it coming from the exact same place. But I like Elizabeth Olsen here a lot, and for I can't believe it took me this long to notice it, but this is the same team-up from that's coming up in Avengers 2 with Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, now, part, now, usually I'd be like, oh, they're playing a, a couple here, and then they're playing brother and sister there. That's kind of odd. I wish they would switch it up. But I'm so excited for them in the Avengers, too. I'm just like, oh, sneak peek of their dynamic. And it makes me wonder if maybe when Saoirse Ronan inexplicably told Joss Whedon she wasn't interested in playing the Scarlet Witch, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson stepped up and said, you know, I'm working with Elizabeth Olsen, or I just did on Godzilla. She's great. Uh, we're doing a press for it at Comic-Con. I believe that's the time about when they were just in discussions to be cast last year. Uh, maybe you should consider her to take over the role. Uh, she's a great, great person to work with. And Joss Whedon was like, sure, my number one choice, just turn me down. Why not take your buddy, Aaron Taylor Johnson? Uh, so it just shows in Hollywood today, even still, is a business of relationships. But I think this is this just like Godzilla-like, slowly turning back in the direction I want it to. Uh, this gives me more faith in it, uh, and I hope maybe that this is a, uh, maybe they won't l rely too heavily on Brian Cranston's like uh, hysterics because Heisenberg doesn't lose it; he keeps his cool. I don't want to see I don't want to see Heisenberg cry, even if it's justified. So, uh, so that's what I think. Do you like this spot? What do you think of it? What do you think of the civilian angle? Does it bother you they don't have more Japanese storylines in a story that takes place in Japan? And what do you think of the uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Elizabeth Olsen uh, pairing here and then being continue on in the Avengers? Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this Godzilla movie, uh, we might have different thoughts about it. We might be changing our minds of how it looks. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's definitely on everybody's radar. It'll be very interesting to see how it performs at the box office and if Pacific Rim, Rim will hurt it with the mainstream. Write your thoughts down below. Thank you for tuning in to my review, uh, and you can check out some more right now.